Hey, it's Pastor Andrew of Faith to Walk Ministries doing another Bible review. This is the classic Schofield Study Bible. Um, it is uh, what they call the old but classic Study Bible. Um, let's see here. You can find this Bible um, usually anywhere from between $30 and $40 for a genuine leather classic study classic so film um just let you look at it holy bible red letter concordance schofield study system king james and this is done by oxford it has i don't know what kind of grain that is but it's a it's a nice one i mean it's not a it's not a quality premium bible but for what it is the bible's going to last you a long time it's pretty good it does have some gold around the uh inside it is cardstock and glued, so once again, it's not going to be, it has a little bit of protective in there. See that little tiny thing right there? A little bit in there. Don't pull that apart. Um, I said, I mean, it's nice. The dimensions are eight and three quarters, five and three quarters by one and a half inches. Kind of comparable to the size that I like, the Thompson handy size. But one thing we're going to notice in this one, Thompson is like a six-point type. This one's an eight-point type, and then and the references are eight-point type too. Uh, so it's really nice. It has some gold gilding on it. Let's look on the inside. It has some pages. You can do some notes. Brings out of course the introduction. There you go. It does have the introduction. Most uh, Schofields do let you know how it came to back and how to use it. Preference to the present edition. Panoramic view of the Bible. Very popular in the Schofield. Of course, it has your content page. And how to use the subject references. And then, just like the uh, like I said, the classic Schofield notes from the 1917 notes edition. Uh, the Pentateuch and goes into, once again, each book has... An introduction and one thing to notice and a lot of people want to know it does each book start on a new page and the answer for that is yes each book starts on a brand new page and people like that because if you want to do notes like following the book you have some space to do that so each one does start on a brand new page you're going to notice in a classic edition like a verse uh, between chapter and verse we use you know, the, the dot above the dot. This one just says a period, like John 1, 1. Of course, it has your date of writing. It has your subjects. And, of course, your contents will have, um, right here, Genesis is in five chief divisions. So it gives you a little breakdown of an outline. Original creation. Creation. Um, then you have notes on the bottom. Once again, I always remember... Scriptures are inspired, notes are not. Scripture is the only thing that's inspired. But it does have a breakdown, the second day, vapor above the water below, third day land to sea, plant life appears. So it does break it down. Um, not a lot of margin for notes. So you could do notes up here, little tiny notes through here. Of course you could do, a note, we do I do notes at the bottom a lot. Very so often you'll get some space in the center column to do notes. So you could do those here and there. Once again, the print is eight point. Notes are eight point. Not all sure what the reference is, but it's probably pretty close. I would say seven, maybe. Okay, so I'll just kind of go with what you show the red letters in here. The other's pretty dark. It's not, a, it's not a pink. It does follow the Schofield uh, system, so I'll show you what I mean. Like on this one right here. So, repentance. Uh, the next, so when you see E in your scripture, you'll see follow this in the center columns, repentance. The next passage that's going to be shown is Acts 2 38. Note start in Matthew 3 20. And right here shows in Acts 17.30 that there's going to be a summary of repentance there. 
So let's just show you what I mean. What did I say? X1730. Let's turn to the X1730. One more page. 1730. 1730. At the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. And, uh, of course, if you go down here, so it showed, remember to sell the number two. So you can go ahead down here to two. Repentance is a translation Greek word. Metanoia, or metanoio, meaning to have another mind, to change the mind. And is used in New Testament to indicate a change of mind in respect of sin, of God, and of self. Uh, and so it has a really good note. Now, one thing I will let you know is in the old classic, there's no verse reference here, as in the standard or in the Schofield Study Bible 3. So if you see a note, you're like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder where that's at. Well, you're not going to know unless you go through the scriptures. So there's number 2. See, it said there was a 1 there, too. So 1. So you'd have to go through scriptures and find the number before you can know what that's about. So a lot of times that can be um, something people are not used to. There's not going to be a note for every single verse, um, which a lot of people like that. Um, because, you know, one good rule is all your doctrine, all your belief, your doctrine and teaching from Scripture comes from Scripture. Compared with other passages of Scriptures in agreement, uh, well, it comes from Scripture taken in context, in agreement with, compared with other passages of scriptures. And so keep that in mind. Um, so a lot of good stuff. Let's get a New Testament. It goes you to how to use the subject references again. There are a lot of center column references, so you can get lost in a good way, finding different things in the Bible. Uh, this is, it does come with one ribbon. Always lay in one or two or three more in there. I don't, People you see, they pull this apart and tuck it in there and glue it back. I don't. I just, I just lay them in there. And so Revelation, and then right back here, you're going to have, of course, your index to all the notes, proper names. Subject index, you can look scriptures, there's different subjects, like say, blessing and cursing the people, form of, and it gives you all the references. A really good concordance. And then, of course, at the back, you're going to have an index to the maps, and then the maps. Maps are going to be on paper stock in this. Um, one thing I'll notice, boy, this really shows you, it is Smithsonian. So, I mean, my goodness, you're going to have a Bible, pretty nice, good size print, uh, font, eight. The notes, oh, if I can find another page with notes, huh. not, not, not notes on every page. The notes are going to be eight point. Here we go. For genuine leather, Smith's sewn, that big, red leather edition. Like I said, for anywhere from $30 to $40, hey, that's a good deal. Um, I recommend it. Um, so, hey, go pick you up one.